Welcome to Practice Update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafazula. Joining me today is Dr. Manmeet Aliwalia. Dr. Aliwalia is Miller Family Endowed Chair at the Cleveland Clinic in Neuro-Oncology. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you for inviting me and good to be here. Absolutely. Well, I know that you co-chaired the education session at the Society for Neuro-Oncology's uh, annual meeting this year in 2016. Can you give us a breakdown of how that education session worked? Sure. So, as you are aware, the new World Health Organization classification in CNS tumors came out in 2016. So, this year we actually wanted to make the theme of our education day on precision medicine in CNS tumors. So, we started off the day with two keynote presentations focusing on the precision medicine aspects of it. This was a joint session between basic science, clinical science, as well as clinical and applied neuro-oncology people. And then after that, actually, we had two breakaway sessions where there were multiple basic science talks in the basic and clinical science sessions, followed by clinical impact of these changes, like what we do in day-to-day -day when we are treating these patients, either using surgical-based techniques, radiation-based techniques, or using medical therapies. We also discussed about some of the new clinical trials and the ramifications of the New World Health Organization classification on the outcomes or the design of these trials. Can you highlight some of the relevant information that came out of your education sessions? Yeah, so previously uh, when we looked at, so I'll take an example of gliomas, which are one of the most common uh, primary brain tumors that we see in clinic. We used to rely more on histology or grading of tumors. What we've re recognized in the last few years is that a molecular profiling of these tumors actually dictates the outcomes more than grading uh, or histology. So for example, I'll say a patient who has an IDH mutant tumor, whether they have grade two or grade three type tend to behave more similarly as compared to their counterpart of the same grade two tumor who might be more IDH wild type, which tend to behave uh, or have more dismal outcomes. So the new classification actually focuses on combining the IDH mutant uh, tumors together and IDH wild type in a different manner. And while looking at the specificities related to that the tumor itself and understanding the heterogeneity that's associated with that tumor, I know that you're also focusing in on looking at the comorbidities of your patient and individualizing care further based on that particular patient, is that right? Yeah, so we know that age and performance status are very important prognostic factors that determine survival of our patients. And whenever we make a decision to treat our patients, we take into account how well they are doing, uh, how mobile they are, how old they are, because sometimes the most aggressive treatments may not be most appropriate for the most fragile patients. And in this era of uh, precision medicine, we just also need to still keep that in mind, that when we are treating a patient, we should be taking that patient's clinical phenotype into account. Well, that is vital information for our viewership, and I want to thank you for sharing your perspective, expertise, and for all that you've done in creating such an amazing session here at SNOW. Thank you so much, and I was very glad. It was extremely well received. I would like to thank my co-chairs, uh, Keith Legon, Jayshree Blakely, and Christina Hardy, who did a phenomenal job. Absolutely. Great teamwork with great outcomes, and once again. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you for joining us for this practice update. I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizula.